Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, how was your weekend? Interesting, funny. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Ah, so what do you do to have all those feelings and emotions? I don't know how to explain, but it has like a, a montaña rosa. I don't know how to say it. Roller coaster? It has a roller coaster feeling. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But. You you had a good weekend. That's great. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I have I had my my camera off because I'm just arrived at home like a five or three minutes ago, and I. <laughs> okay, <laughs> got it. No worries. I understand. All right. Hello, Nelson. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. How was your weekend? Hello. A little busy. All right, a little busy. Yeah, I imagine that. But we are starting a new week. So, guys, I hope you are okay. I hope all of you had a good weekend. And I hope you could rest at least a little bit. Okay? We are starting basically the unit number well, the week number two, and I will show you how you're going on the platform. I can see many of you are uh, already finishing the, uh, the unit number one, so great job. Some of you haven't started yet. I have like two people or three people that they haven't started. So guys, platform is not optional. We already know that, so please, you have to work every day on the platform, all right? So I will show you the progress. I know that there is an exercise on the platform that is giving you an issue. And be honest with you, I already did the exercise. And um, but for me, it's a, it's a mistake, it's an error of the system because I already did the exercise and I had the answer, but it is always taking it as incorrect. And that's the reason why you, um, you don't have the percentage, like the 100%. But I'm going to see if I can modify it so you can get the 100% in that unit because it's not your fault, right? I mean, that's an error of the platform. So uh, what happens? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what answer the platform will ask. Because as I said, I already did the exercise and I try with different answers, but nothing seems to work. Okay, so when it is like that, it's a problem with the platform, not yours. Okay. Now we are going to start. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the one who has the camera on. I can see only three people and the rest of you guys. I want to see you. Come on. How was your weekend? What do you do? Tell me. Uh huh. What do you do during the weekend? Anything interesting? Ah, nothing at all? Oh my goodness. Oh, you don't want to talk. <laughs> Guys, come on, this is the moment to talk. What do you do during the weekend? Nothing? <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, Hector. What do you do? Tell me. Ah, uh, but my weekend very very uh nice slow ah. i think it's slow nothing special but uh when go to the la gran via uh -huh. saturday, saturday uh, so, so 
so so so the problem in the so the problem in the in the studio the game oh, uh, without yeah. uh, between us and and I and Alianza yeah. a big a big traffic horrible I think people I'm sad because the people um you know it's a problem but I it's, it's only a, about not not uh, news news yeah. for, for end the uh, the weekend I yeah, know I'm pretty sad teacher definitely I mean I I didn't go out, <laughs> but I checked the news online and I felt pretty sad and disappointed because let's be honest, mm -hmm. guys, the fault is not from the, the stadium's manager, it's not from the people that direct the, the sport teams, the fault is people, the culture that we have, I mean, unfortunately, that's that's true. I mean, the fault is people, right? The way that we react on certain circumstances. So it's pretty sad, pretty it's sad. sad. So sad. guys, please don't go to the stadium, okay? I don't want you to suffer anything. I, I want you to be okay. So don't go, all right, please. Especially if we have those type of, you know, Child. teams, planes, and with, children especially yeah i know oh my gosh i feel pretty sad about it all right and what else what else do you do during the weekend anything else work on the platform right yes teacher we worked on the platform aha uh -huh. look i will show you the progress honestly i feel happy i could see you worked harder look at this this is your progress on the unit number one. Can you see what I'm sharing? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. so look, it says 96 because of the mistake of the exercise. And this is the sentence, right? I think that everybody got issues with this. Again, this is a mistake of the platform because if you see, I mean, I have the same answer that you had. I already tried it with the point, without the point, and it's always giving me an error. So it's because of that. So I'm going to try to modify this in order that you can have a hundred percent. All right. So, so far so good. Mm. Erika and Fatima, what happens? Why are you? What happens here? You haven't even started. Hmm. You Erika? know me. I love the adrenaline. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> Ay, my goodness, my goodness. So mm -mm, try to work, please. Then so far so good. So far so good. Lucy, Lucy, haven't started the platform. What happens? Don't expect, oh, well, don't wait till the last minute, please. All right. And I can see some people even started the unit number two. So that's great for the ones that already started the unit number two. Excellent job. Okay. So please just keep in mind that don't wait until the last minute. It's better if you do the platform like slow and relaxed. So you can practice and learn instead of doing at the last minute, all right? Now we are going to start, what was the topic that we studied last week? Huh? Suggestion of certain and uncertain. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Comparative equals. Uh -huh. I see you remember. So yeah, that was some of the topics that we studied. Very good job. Now we are going to continue reviewing it, but in a practice form, and we are going to see new topics and new vocabulary. Okay? Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Sure. Yes. 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 Great. Yes. This is May twenty second. We are starting basically the week number. Two, and if everything goes well, we are going to be finishing the unit number one. Now, the topic that we are going to study today is relevance of logistics. Okay, that is what we are going to be talking. 
I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Only Did one, I? please. Oh, yes, Did please. I? Go ahead. Uh huh. Go ahead. I cannot listen to you. Hello. Sorry, I have trouble with that. All right. Okay. Relevant relevance of log of logistics. Class of, class objective. Participant will be able will be able to express the advantages to outsourcing of uh, 3PL, third party logistics service provider. Thank you. So basically we are going to be talking about the advantages of outsourcing. Do you know what outsourcing is? Do you have no. like a similar idea? No teacher. No? Okay, well, don't worry because mm -hmm. that is what we are going to learn today. All right, but first let's remember some suggestions when we give suggestions using expressions of certainty. Can you remember some of the phrases that we studied last week? I don't have any doubt about it. <laughs> uh -huh. Good. What else? Uh, of course. Of course. What else? I'm a 100% sure. Uh -huh. Very good. I'm sorry, I couldn't listen to you. Uh, sure, and for sure, something uh -huh. like that. That's right, yes. Now, if you remember, we also listened uh, to some conversations and we could identify some phrases on that conversation. Do you remember like, I was thinking, it seems like a good idea. I'm not really sure. Do you remember those phrases? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, if you don't remember them, um, one of your classmates sent the screenshots on the group so you can check on WhatsApp groups and try to review it a little bit. The idea is to copy the structure from these conversations in order to provide suggestions. For example, imagine if I say, you know what, guys, I don't know what to do uh, on my next weekend. I mean, I would like to go to the disco and dance. So what do you think? And then you can start telling me, hmm, do you think that's a good idea? Because, you know, the discotheque is kind of boring. It's more for young people. <laughs> so you can say, um, or you can tell me, hey, yeah, it seems like a good idea. So who are you going to go with, right? So the idea is, I want you to give me your opinion about some scenarios telling me these phrases. Is it clear? Yes? Yes. Yes. Good. If you don't use the phrases, I mean, you are losing the objective from this activity. So here are the scenarios, only four scenarios. Volunteer for reading the number one. Me, me, did you? Yes, go ahead. I was thinking about emigrate to USA. Do you think it's a good idea? Thank you. So, Again, let's imagine that this is like a conversation, like a role play. So you have to start giving your opinion and expressing your suggestions using the certainty expressions. What can we say here? What phrases can we use? I think that is not a good idea. That's a good expression and very good. Then obviously you can explain the reason why. What else? Another expression that you can use? Remember the conversations. There you have a lot of phrases that you can use. 
Of course, I think teachers, but mm -hmm. it's regular form uh, immigrate to the USA. Irregular is not good idea, but me uh, for me, uh, I certain cent percent secure. <laughs> uh -huh. It is good, but if uh, regular form, no irregular, it's very hard. It's and not what, the good day. What is a regular? Regular with a, with your visa. Uh -huh. Regular is 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 uh, a walk walking a uh, 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 through the desert. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, uh, no, no good idea. All right. So you see, you're expressing your opinion. You're expressing some suggestions, but using the certainty expressions, and that is exactly what I want. Okay, so we are going to start practicing these conversations. I want to listen to your opinions. Don't forget to use the phrases. Again, if you don't remember the phrases, check WhatsApp group because there you will find the screenshot with the phrases. Now, before going to the breaking rooms, I'm going to check attendance. When you listen to your names, stay present. Adriana Escalante. Present. Right, Carlos Abrego. All right, Christian Alexander. Present. Eh, Erika Yasmin. Present. Right, eh, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Good. Eh, Germán Alexander. Present. All right, Héctor Francisco. Present. Okay, <coughs> Isabel Hernández. Present, Miss. Okay, Iván Guzmán. Present. Jamie Raquel. Present. Okay, Holman Giron. Present. Okay, Lucy Natalie. Lucy Natalie. Okay, Magdalena Escalante. Present. Okay, Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay, Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay, Oscar Armando. Okay, and Rosalina Alvarado. Rosalina Alvarado. Okay, now let's go to the breaking rooms. Everybody, where are your cameras? Come on. Imagine few people had the camera on, please. It's not optional, okay? Be careful. I'm sending the scenarios on the breaking rooms so everybody use the phrases all right let's go and remember zero spanish if your classmate doesn't use the phrases so tell them hey no you have to use the phrases all right let's go to work How are you? How are you? Good, thank you. <laughs> Sorry? Good, thank you. And you? Oh, I'm very, very fine, I think. I'm a little fine. tired, but, but continue. It's Monday. Yes, it's Monday. It's Sorry. hard to start uh, the week. Good, <laughs> good uh, vibration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's hard. Okay, yeah. we... We are talking about the picture. The the first the, the first. first. If you want, could you could you share or or maybe? Yeah, I I I, I can I can wait. Take um maybe Hi, half Fatima, hour. Fatima, how are you? <laughs> hey Fatima, Fatima, how are you? Good. Or... Can you see? Yes, yeah. thank you. Okay, Doki, thank you. you're welcome. <laughs> we have to It's use my pleasure, this is a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. We, we have to use in the certain expression. Yes, okay, the number one say, I was thinking about emigrate to U USA. Do you think it is a good idea? <laughs> mm. 
in my, think, you're first. <laughs> in my opinion, I, uh -huh. I, I don't think so that is a good idea because if you emigrate in irregular situation that Hector said, uh, is is complicated because you have to to pass Mexico. That Mexico is very dangerous mm -hmm. with the narco traffic, narco traffic <laughs> or the drug, the drug mm -hmm. people that they and I think that they 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 rob a lot of money because um is is per per person they they are. Fifteen uh, thousand, I think so. I know. I, I I I don't know exactly, but it's a lot of money that the people have to pay for for pass the 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 boundary or illegal in the U.S. Yeah. And yes, I know that the that the the people uh, have to. Or get uh, 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 another opportunity or or better opportunity than than El Salvador, for example. But if for me it is done, I think that I think that I don't I don't think that I don't I don't think so that is it is a good idea to emigrate in irregular situation. In regular situation is okay. <laughs> Everything is okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not yeah. sure about about this lady because if maybe uh we have the blessed blessed Bless to have a uh, visa visa regular but if we can not speak a uh, good english it's very hard because it's necessary for take a good job um speak very well if Ex mm -hmm, mm -hmm. exactly yes i agree with you yes it's hard if you don't understand the the english or you don't speak in, in uh, the language or because it's difficult to 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 um uh, to incorporate at the uh, the the jobs for example, mm -hmm. the job for the professional jobs is complicated. Mm -hmm. I know it. Yes. Ladies, I worked in the past, worked, uh, yes. washed dishes in, the, in, in Virginia because oh. I, my English very, very bad. Yeah, isn't it? Uh, in the past, it's necessary. Was unnecessary. No, no, I, I can. You can say, teacher, who say uh, was necessary? It's good to say was necessary? No. Yeah, it's correct. It was, was necessary. necessary. It was necessary to uh, take an interview or meeting. To, to take. Hay que separar los verbos. Take. To take. Okay, to take it. Uh-huh. Interview for wash dishes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. It's very yeah. necessary in English. And I feel a fool. <laughs> like a fool, because I done my English very, very bad. And when come to the doctor, say it's necessary to learn more English because it's necessary, <laughs> I think. Hey, you, Adriana, what do you think? Adriana, I cannot hear you. Hi, hi, hi. And now? Yes, very good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It's better. Okay. <laughs> that maybe the situation that we have in Florida, we are going to have it in, in another state in the United States. So maybe it's not a good idea, Magdalena. <laughs> maybe our country is not the best, but... <laughs> maybe Holman is in, in my same, same page. I Holman. don't know. Holman is here. Hello, Holman. Welcome, Holman. Hi. What do you think, Holman? Welcome we are in the number one. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, let me check. Sorry. The first one. <clears throat> I want to go to USA. Illegal. What do you think about that? I was thinking about immigrating 
Uh, uh, it's a very good idea. It's a very good question. Okay. <laughs> okay. Holman, do you know the new law that there is on Florida? Uh, yes, I, if you I, don't have I, documents, if you just have your passport without the visa, you cannot work. Yes, but you cannot receive attention in the hospital. You cannot do anything actually. Uh, it's, I think. Oh, um, it's a, of course. Uh, it's the situation is very bad here. I can, I, I think it's it's good idea, but if the situation is okay, uh, uh, like this, this last moment, I think you can, you can avoid that. Okay, and then if Holman is, if, if Holman is going with me, everything will be all right. 50, okay. 50. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 50, 50. Okay. And what do you think about, in my case, I'm considering uh, for vacation to Cuba. What do you think? It's a good idea or not? What? You will be past your vacation with Fidel in <laughs> Fidel land. He's <laughs> not alive. Come on. Or his wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mommy. <laughs> okay. But I am not mean? sure if it is a good idea. You have to inform a lot. Uh -huh. A mm. lot of questions and and you need to when you when you um when you cuando tu puedes when, when you, you what when you can where you want? I where you know. no, cuando tú puedes dormir lo que se todo lo que se puede. <laughs> when you can sleep. When you can sleep a lot. A lot of sleep. Yeah. Probably not a lot, not a lot. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It depends on the baby. Mm -hmm. Ah. My baby. My... Yes, he, yes. He, he doesn't like sleep. Ah, nice. It's very active. It's very active. That that was my case too. When she was a baby, she wasn't asleep. I remember I was a, like a zombie. Yes. <laughs> I didn't recognize me, <laughs> but yes, are a lovely, lovely times. Yeah. The third questions. The third question, I am considering going for vacation to Cuba. Do you think it's a good idea? Yes, it's a good idea. It's a, a beautiful place, country. a beautiful country. Uh, on on the beaches is the is the better. Ah, okay. Do you visit it, Cuba in the past? No. Are you, do, do you have that experience? No, but I, I want. Ah, okay. What about you, Christian? Uh, yes, I, okay. uh, I am actually sure that is a good idea. It's a good place to visit, and you are going to you you will be a lot of funny moments and good moments. I have no use of that. Yes. I consider it uh, too it's a good idea for going going to uh, for vacation to Cuba. Visit Cuba? No. No, I I I have a, my brother is a, a American state. Um uh -huh. I, uh, my brother have the uh, a friend, he talked the uh, about the country, the Cuba. 
Mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. not sure about it, but uh, you know uh, what is the capital? Yes. Capital uh, of Cuba. My brother, uh -huh. my brother, uh, Cuba is yeah, beautiful, yeah, but uh, yeah. but needs uh, the visit a lot of money for the you buy and, and store and near uh, the uh, restaurant uh, comida uh, full uh, typical food is a lot of expense expensive yes expensive yes uh, so and and uh, for me i think the no good idea uh, a vacation in cuba Really, okay. really. I I don't I don't have idea that Cuba <laughs> uh, will be too expensive vacation. Yes, yeah. I have my my own double too. <laughs> yes, I don't like Cuba. This is like the east like uh, it's, uh, it's beautiful. Uh, all the people here, Cuba is is beautiful, but is spend the life, the live. Okay, the last one sentence. I I don't know I don't know yet, but I want to start my own business. What do you think, Oscar? Or is uh, For me, I, I the I want to I want the the that is good idea for you because if you go to Cuba, you can you can go to the beach and state and. I think that I, I think that Cuba is not expensive. Mm -hmm. It's cheap. Mm -hmm. It's is 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 cheaper than than other mm -hmm. city. I think. For me, of course. I think that this is a good idea. Go to Cuba. For me, of course, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm considering a a one hundred percent for my. Birthday vacation. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. For me, I'm I'm sent sent a ten per no no one hundred percent uh <laughs> certain because I agree with Mirna. I I think it's, it's cheaper uh than another. Hey, help me. Then another uh city like uh Villa, Villa on on. on on Honduras, in Honduras, is very expensive. In, yeah. in Cuba, is, they have a lot history. Ratan, Ratan in Honduras is Ratan, very expensive. Ratan, uh -huh. Ratan is very expensive. And, and in Cuba, it, you have a lot, a lot history, a lot music. You, I, I think in Celia Cruz, ah, and then in, in uh, and a lot of music, a lot uh, beautiful, what's a beautiful uh, paragraph for, or view or or history? They have a lot view, of history. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Let's say, uh, Caribbean Sea, Happy. Caribbean. Time's up. Let's go back. We are going to wait for everyone to go back to the main room. Time's up, time's up, let's go back. All right, interesting answers. Uh -huh. All right, let's see. I'm waiting for everyone. Some of your classmates are still in the breaking rooms. Let's wait for them. 
All right, so everyone, what do you think? It was it easy to answer the questions and provide suggestions to your classmates? Yes or not? Just a little bit, I think. Okay, and the rest of you, everyone? Easy or difficult? <coughs> difficult because we, we had to remember that the, the phrase is a specific <laughs> phrase. I know, I know. Well, it's time. I'm going to call some of my friends to ask <laughs> suggestions of course i'm not going to take the timer because when i take the timer i feel that you got nervous but i do expect a very nice answer i expect intermediate for answer okay so let's see it's going to be randomly of course so, but first, <laughs> let me check some details that I was listening during the practice. What is the pronunciation of this verb in past? Work. Is worked. Can I say worked? No. Never. Worked. So everybody, be careful with the regular verbs, okay? Now, he doesn't like, oops, here is sleep. Can I say that? He doesn't like sleep. To uh -huh. sleep. To sleep. To sleep. Exactly. We need to separate the verbs. Don't forget that. Now, eh, the beaches are the better. Can I say that? The best or better than? Exactly. So remember, if you use better, it's because you are comparing. So you need to say two things. But in this case, you are just mentioning one and you are using the article da. So you have to say <coughs> superlative. The best. Now, I'm going to check my agenda. I have some telephone numbers <laughs> over there. Let's see, I'm going to call to, can you see oh. the names? Yes. Da, 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 da. Let me call to my friend, Ivan. All right. Ring. <laughs> Ivan, are you there? I think Ivan is sleeping. Yeah, it's very late. I'm going to call to some other friend. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> ah! No. no. <laughs> okay. It's because you were laughing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to call my friend Rosalina. Rosalina. No, what? forget it. it? I, I come late. Excuse me. Okay. I'm okay. Trying. No worries. You just have to provide your answer, your opinion, and you can include some certainly phrases. That's all what we're so. doing. No worries. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> you can do it. Ring. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, hello, Rosalina. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm great. How are you today? Oh, yeah, I'm so nervous because, you know, I'm about to make a very important decision. And I'm calling you because I want to know your opinion. Uh, of course. So, you know, I'm not certain, but I'm thinking I might have a baby. What do you think? Really? <laughs> right now? Or are you thinking about? No, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I... It's a good idea, but um, are you it's already preparing for the, I excuse me, my, my hemorrhoids, uh, for bringing a, like a baby? No, I'm not sure if that's <laughs> a good idea. So that's yeah. why I'm calling you. What do you think? Okay, I have three babies, of course. Of course, my life is very 
different, important, but in another way, it's so happy to uh, create another, uh, I don't know what I say, you understand me. All right. Uh, it's an excellent project, Tim. <laughs> I think it for you is a, a good challenge. Of course, okay. you can do it. <laughs> All right. I know there is a lot to consider, so I'm going to think about it. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Very good. I, I know. hope to see you soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. 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 So, just remember, in this case, I know Rosalina wasn't since the very beginning of the class. So the idea is to try to include a little bit more phrases. Okay? No okay. problem. Now, I'm going to call to someone else because I have another dilemma. Let me call to my friend, Hector. Okay. Ring. Hector, speak. <laughs> Hello, Hector. How are you? Hello. It's me, Clarissa. Hello, Clarissa. How are you? Oh, you know, I'm a little worried. Uh, I need an advice. So I'm considering going for vacations to Cuba, but some people say it's not a good idea. Do you think is that a good idea or not? Of course, I think it's a good idea. Because it, uh, Cuba, I think, I don't know, but I saw uh, many information about this country. It is very beautiful, very nice people. And I think it's mm, cheaper uh, than another country, another country. I think it's a good idea, idea but it's necessary to have a, maybe a um 200 no 200 dollars you have a you, you need it's necessary to have a lot book <laughs> <laughs> uh, for 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 travel but this is i think it's a good idea teacher mm, uh, okay. sorry <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> okay all right so okay maybe i'll go but i need to make some research to feel definitely convinced okay thank you okay, okay. all You're right welcome. hector nice because you were trying to use the phrases that's good just remember when we use the verb need we need to separate it from the other verb i need to have for example okay okay nice. thanks okay let me call to someone else i have another, story. I have another problem let me reach Jamie. Hello, Jamie, are you there? Okay, I think Jamie's not there. Guys, I need your help. Answer me. <laughs> okay, let me reach to Lucy Natalie. Hello, Lucy, are you there? Hello, yes, I'm here. Oh, excellent, because I need your help. Okay, go ahead. I was thinking about emigrate to the United States. What do you think about it? Is that a good idea? Well, I'm convinced that in these times, you need to think about it. That is because the immigrations, um, the immigrations rules that are um, in Florida State, for example, Okay. You need to investigate. Definitely. You are totally sure about it. You know, you could be right. I'm going to investigate a little bit first but because there you, is a lot to consider. Uh -huh. yeah, but, but if you have a visa and you have a, uh, all your papers on rule, that it maybe will be a good, a good choice. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I will try. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. You were trying to use the phrases. That's great. I like that. Okay. The last but not least, let me call to Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Hello. 
Oh my gosh, Carlos is sleeping. It's very late. Oh my goodness. I will call to someone else. Herman. Hello, Herman. Ring. Hello. Hello, Herman. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Oh, I'm doing well. You know, I know that you are an expert in this topic. I don't know yet, but I want to start my own business. What do you think? Your your own business? Mm -hmm. I think it actually is very hard. It's very hard because you have to, to make a excellent idea, a big idea for, for your business mm -hmm. because uh, the competition in the market is very hard. You have to need a, a money for your business and a, a, a structure. Um, what else? Uh, capital. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, on the, for me, the most important thing is a, is a, a big idea, uh, innovation. Yeah, right. Yeah, maybe you're right. There's a lot to consider. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I'm not gonna do it. Or well, I might consider it. But thank you for your advice. That's very useful. Welcome. All right, very good. Okay, look. I know that it's difficult to start thinking, hey, I need to say the phrases, right? And I need to say a cool answer, I know. But guys, listen, this is a conversation, okay? With the practice, and of course, if you memorize the phrases, it's gonna be very easy for you. But if we don't memorize the phrases, of course, it's going to be difficult because you are not going to find the phrases to complete the conversation. OK, so be careful. Try to memorize those kind of phrases because they're very useful instead of only saying, I don't know, I don't know, and I don't know. And that's all what we say. Right, so we have different options. We can improve our vocabulary and remember that that's the purpose here in the intermediate level. Any questions about those certainty expressions? Yes, no? Is it clear? Clear, teacher. Are you sure? I am not sure, teacher. <laughs> My goodness. Clear as our chat, right? Something as, like that. As always, I know, I know. Well, we are going to stop thinking about the certainty expressions, but no worries, we are going to have more speaking ideas. Now, let's talk about the topic that we have for today. We are going to talk about the relevance of logistics. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes. Yes? yes. Excellent. Okay, let's talk about this. I have some questions. I need a volunteer for reading the first question, please. Edie, is it important for retailer stores to know the strengths and weaknesses of the competition? Thank you. What do you think, guys? It is important or not? It is important. It's so important. Why? If you don't know um, who's we are, whom we are, we are running, you don't know how you can you can win. Ah, okay. That sounds like a very inspired phrase. I like that. What else? What do you think, guys? It is important or not? Yes, for me, yes, teacher, it's important because you you have is is the 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 way that you can know your product and your and your strength about your 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 product and the competition uh, improve the the product you have to improve uh, or you have to take a uh, innovation all wow. the time that's great it's important 
Definitely, very good, very good. All right, so definitely. I think that knowing the strengths and weaknesses of our competitors, it's definitely totally important. Now, how about the next question? Volunteer for reading, please. I want to read it. Go ahead. Uh, what is your opinion about the follow? The customers is all right? Ha, ah, what do you think? Yes, the it should. I'm absolutely certain that. Yeah. <laughs> so the customer yeah, is always right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm certain about that. It's a phrase that the the all all all, all company that have to know because the customer is always they have the the right or or the reason or they have um the the right yes because because if you sell a product and and the customer say oh no this product is not good for me is this their opinion and and is depend that that they can sell or they can or they can have to uh, boca a boca, how do you say boca a boca? <laughs> the, the product, the, or maybe gossip with another customer and they, and it's not, it's not good for, for your business. If, if you have a customer with a complaint or insatisfaction. Mm -hmm. I so think a, that a customer that is not satisfied. Satisfied for, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's a good one. So, boca boca, <laughs> that's a nice phrase. We can say word of mouth. Okay, word of mouth, mm -hmm. yeah. So, in this case, guys, do you agree with what your classmates said? Yes. I think... think I think uh -huh. you need in in your business you need to handle of um a lot of personalities or kind of people you I think that is a very old old fashioned way to administrate the always right the customer always are I in in that right now it's and you need to innovate or in and that is to handle very uh, specific moment or or opinion that the customer have so for you the customer is not always right not always right and you mm -hmm. need to uh, handle for every case or or every opinion that you have like a plan uh -huh. you need to have a plan all right mm -hmm. sounds good anyone else what do you think the customer is always right for you yes or no what do you think I, I understood um, that Lucy, Lucy want to say was client, the customers, um, are right, even, even though you are in front of them. Okay, handling, handling every, every situation is right. Is that the idea? I assume it is. Okay, I agree. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so how about your, imagine that you have your own business, right? And will you apply this phrase that the customer is always right? Imagine that you have a restaurant. Imagine that you have a retailer store. Will you apply this, that the customer is always right? Yes, no, sometimes. I don't, I don't think so, teacher. Why not? Because, because uh, for me, the the customer is very, uh, very malleable, manipulable. Manipulated? Manipulated. If, if, if we have a, a good, uh, um, I'll say, good, uh, Customer and attention, and maybe they not, not not have a problem with my product or with my service. Mm -hmm. And the the right is 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 mine. 
if if I have a good good service for for day, I think. Okay, all right. Teacher. <laughs> yes. I have an opinion. It's a Go good ahead. point. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we we think about if we have a, a business, right? Mm -hmm. But when we are a customer, we want the a solution. Okay, we have to see both situations. I am a, a, a businessman, but actually also I am a customer. And mm -hmm. I have I have a solution with my problems. And the client is important. If I have a, a business, I think the, the client is the most important of my business because it, he or she is giving give me uh, the money <laughs> and for for my product and that is important for me and that is important because uh, in that way I can grow ha as a, a company if I solve the issue of my pro of my customer. That's uh, a good point. Not always the customer have the 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 right the right. But it's important to uh, attend uh, the situation. Uh, and provide uh, a solution. And provide a solution, yes. Mm -hmm. mm, very good. Interesting answers, guys. I like that. Now, okay. how about... Yes? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, in my opinion, in my, in my company, it's, uh, it's always the, the client is right for the company depend the client the, uh -huh. for for co uh, client they pay the uh, the product so uh, the the client the go the company die uh, for uh, and so and uh, always the client right in my company all right, that's another good point. If, if you lose the customers, I mean, your company will die too. But also imagine, think about your employees. If you put the customer first before your employees, I mean, also your company will suffer. I think that everything is a balance, right? And depending teacher. on the situations too. Uh-huh. Yes, teacher, I, I, think, I think so. Uh, the client is right every time. Yes, it's okay. But the trouble is what when some of them, some some clients are a really big headache. <laughs> yes. Definitely. I have a little business and my my wife is a lawyer. And mm -hmm. some clients, we don't work for them. Yeah. Yes, they are they are so difficult and we don't work with them. Yeah, it's better to avoid them, definitely. So remember, we have all kind of customers and the ones that are working in customer service, <laughs> you know that the customers that are not always right, but we need to deal with that. Now, how about this? Volunteer for reading, number three. What do you think logistic is about? Thank you. Uh-huh, what do you think? What is logistic? Logistics, logistics is everything that every 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 people can can I say every people yes no? every person maybe or all the people or everybody okay but every people not really okay thank you um logistics is everybody working for or move something. Logistic is uh, um, when storage, um, warehouse. Logistic is warehouse, is truck, is moving, moving yeah. merchandise. Mm -hmm. Logistic is everything that you need to. Okay. okay, be careful with the microphones. Sorry. Continue, that is logistics. That is logistics, in my opinion. Logistics okay. is 
that you need that you need for moving your products mm -hmm. from the from the um, the place where that is uh, make it make from the manufacturer to, yes that is the word from the manufacturer to the the final customers mm -hmm. sounds good how about you guys? Do you have any other idea about what logistic is? Yes, I agree with uh, Magdaleno say that logistic is that involved that whole process that when the manufacturer start and the customer, and the final customer is the supply chain, that the, the whole process involved in, in your in your business, for example, in your fact that if you manufacture some product. And then you have to need you you need to supplier you need to purchase a supplier you need to transport or you need to inventory or or in a warehouse you need to inventory and then you have to logistic of transportation at the retailers or warehouses or 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 the customer at the final customer is is the, the is logistic involve a a a lot of a lot of things. A lot of things, yeah, <laughs> and people and and process that that's that good. that you factory. That's good. And actually, you already answered the last question. Imagine what are the responsibilities of a logist? Uh, I'm sorry, a logistician. What do you think? She already mentioned transportation inventory we are talking about purchasing so everything related to the process that you developed in your company so let's talk a little bit about this and we are going to learn some tips that uh, or some habits tips or habits that successful retailer stores try to apply in order to have success okay if you had your manuals everybody let's go to the manuals and we are going to practice reading okay can you see the box here yes okay yes, pay attention we are going to uh, to read but later we are going to answer some questions so i want to see reading comprehension here all right so I need a volunteer for reading the first tip that is prioritizing is the key. Who wants to read? Adriana. Okay, Adriana and the second one, Fatima, please. Okay. Um, prioritizing is key. Certainly time limits and deadlines, even as your own boss, can help make retailers stay focused and on a schedule, eliminating extra time spent when it shouldn't be. Thank you. What do you think about this tip? Do you think it's a good idea if you have a company to have time limits or deadlines? Mm, I think that is necessary. You okay. must to have deadlines because when you don't have a good administration of your time, maybe you're going to have a problems with clients and even with your own objectives as a business. All right. Do you agree, everyone? Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, <sure. laughs> So think about your company, the place you work in. Do, uh, well, does your company have this tip? Implement this, prioritizing is the key. Do you work with deadlines? Yes or no? Yes. Actually, I don't understand the question. If you, in your company, the company that you work for, do you work with deadlines? Do they establish time limits for you in order that you have to do a specific activity or a specific work? Yes. Yes, yes? and the rest of you guys? Yes or yes. no? Yes, yes. In my case, no. You don't? No, we don't. All right, sounds good. Now, remember, these are some tips. So, have deadlines, it's a good idea. 
right? Because as your classmate said, helps you to organize your time. Of course, it has to be very uh, clear deadlines and some <coughs> deadlines that you can reach. Imagine they give you a very difficult task and they say, do you have two hours to do it? <laughs> no, right? So it has to be possible, not impossible. Now, Fatima, can you read the second one? Letting go is a must. Letting go is a must. Successful retailers analyze this situation as opportunities to learn from versus beating themselves up over. The more retailers know through hard data, the better they are in supporting their customers. 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 All right. What do you understand for this tip? What do you think? Do you agree with it or not? Teacher, I don't understand the combination of word. Letting go is the is a must. Okay, imagine guys, there are some situations in your stores. Letting go is okay. Go, go away. Instead of keeping something that is hurting you this is like in a romantic situation if you have a toxic relationship if you let it go i mean leave that person in the end is something good right is something necessary to do right so it's basically, like it's like le leave behind some things yes not as an optional thing but because you have to is necessary. So what do you think about it? Do you agree? Yes, absolutely. We Sometimes we have to let it go something. It's an obligation. We must be. Mm -hmm. And look, imagine in this case, we are talking about customers, as your classmate mentioned, right? Some toxic customers. I mentioned it. Mm -hmm. What else? What else are those things that we must let it go? You said a relationship. Mm -hmm. Imagine employees, you think? Yes, yes, <laughs> of course, surely. Definitely, right? It doesn't matter if that person is your friend, it's a nice body, but if he doesn't do the job, I mean, <laughs> we need to let him go. Now, next one to continue reading, please. Training staff is vital. What do you think? A volunteer for reading? Oops. Can I miss? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Training and staff is vital. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to reap the rewards of a strong associate and as a result of strong sales. All right, thank you. Let me ask you, when you started to work in the company that you are now, did you receive a training? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes? Yes. Now, with the time, do you receive a frequently training or it was just one and that's it? Yes, teacher, every time. Frequently, yes. So it's frequently. Ah, all right. And the rest of you guys? Depends of the, the kind of the training. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because all training can be twice a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same. If it is teaching you something, it's like a training. Teacher, training mm -hmm. could be a taller. Taller is, is a, a taller. I mm -hmm. don't know what is the word to say that in English. Well, uh, it depends. But if we are talking about como esos talleres que hacen en los trabajos, como les digo, it depends. 
it's considered a training. And if you want to say taller like workshop, but if they are teaching you techniques, if they are teaching you um, some new strategies, some new steps, new um, equipment, for example, if they are teaching you something new, so in that case, the workshop is considered training too, okay? In, in this case, in my job, I, I work for, for a, a church, mm -hmm. church, and we have a retreat with the leadership in, for example, in the mountain or at the beach, something like that is a training. Well, if you are learning something new, it is. And those training are pretty nice, actually. Imagine, guys, we like to receive a training at the beach, in the mountain. Actually, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I like that. And yes, what about the is. word uh, coaching? It's kind of the same, it's, it's different? Or... Well, in the case of coaching, remember that coaching is more personal because it's like a feedback, right? They are just checking uh, your performance, if you are doing great or not. If again, tr look, training is when they are teaching you something new, right? For example, imagine that I'm a teacher, okay? I think that I already know how to do my job. But one day my boss says, okay, we are going to have a training. We are going to learn a new process. We are going to use a new platform. Okay, so I need you to learn to use the new platform so you can teach the new platform to your students. I receive a training, okay, because I'm learning something new. A coaching in this case is different. My boss can say, okay, Clarissa, sit down. I'm going to talk about your performance. I have your feedback. Some of them are positive, some of them are negative, but it's a little bit different, okay? Normally in the training, the companies spend time and money. Because remember, I mean, they have to pay you the time, the hours while you are receiving the training. During the training, you are not producing. Again, you are learning, you are not producing. So is that a good idea that the company invests in trainings for their employees? What do you think? Yes, I'm 100% sure actually. That's great. And you guys? Is a good for idea sure. or is just sure. a waste of time? Good idea? Uh-huh. Yes, it's a good yeah. idea for sure. Teacher, the the almost time is a mandatory for the company. Very good. Exactly. It's not optional, right? It's an obligation. But even though you know that there are many companies that they don't do it. <laughs> They just hire people and let's go, learn in the process, <laughs> right? So that, remember, we are talking about tips that successful companies apply. Now, next one, volunteer for reading. Could I? Yes, please. Knowing the compet competition is Correct the pronunciation? Yes. Knowing the competition is a priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry, trends, missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales, and other ways to stay afloat. Afloat is correct? Yes. Afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. All right. What do you think about that, guys? Do you think that knowing your competitors is the top of your priorities? Is necessary? 
Yes, I am. I am a hundred percent sure that it's necessary to know the the competi the, the competitors. Very good. Definitely right. I think that if you have your own store, your own business, you need to know you who you are dealing with. Nice. Okay, the last tip, volunteer for reading, please. Okay, I'm gonna read. <laughs> Thank you, go ahead. It says, shifting the store inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate the consumer versus themselves. Listen to consumer, react to consumer trends, working vendors and respond to what consumers want. That is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. Thank you. So imagine, you know that there are some stores that one day they are selling some specific things, but with the time they start changing and they start selling new things because is what is fashion in this moment or what is the customer want in this moment. So is that a good idea that you change your business, that you change some of your goals just to, I mean, react to the customer trends? What do you think? Is worth it? I'm certain about it because it's necessary nowadays. Every time everything is changing. So if you don't have it, if you don't know anything about it, you can lost actually. Mm, okay. How about you guys? What do you think? Do you agree? Uh huh. In my opinion, the successful the successful businesses are um, are uh, they. Uh, I don't. I I lost my idea. <laughs> Okay, so just imagine if you have your own business. Imagine I'm selling uh, shoes, okay? Sneakers shoes. But suddenly I see that most of the people, they are not buying sneakers. They are just buying boots. So I say, okay, I'm going to stop a, buying a lot of sneakers because people are not buying them. So people want boots. Okay, I go to the manufacturer and I have a lot of boots and I start to sell in boots because that's the trends. So Actually, is that a good idea? Do uh -huh. you know the MD history? At the beginning, no. they, they <laughs> were selling sneakers actually for men. But oh, men doesn't use a lot of shoes like us, like women. women. <laughs> so they change the market, they change the product. And now it's just for women, for women. Actually, if you talk about MD, everybody thinking high heels, flats. Yeah. Yeah. And the name, the name yeah. was, the name the, of that company was Moda Deportiva, right? Yes, oh, actually, yeah. that's why MD, mm -hmm. MD, yes. Oh my God, that's new for me. But look, that's a perfect example of Tifton store inventory. There are some companies that they refuse to change because they said, no, this is not me. This is what I want and I'm not gonna change. And some cases, those companies go bankruptcy. Okay, because customers, they continue buying them. Now, if you had your own business, which of these tips will you apply? All of them, some of them, which ones? Which tips would you like to apply to your own business? What do you think? Maybe all of them are, are useful. Okay. 
And you guys? If you want us to step all of them to share for me. <laughs> all of them too? Yeah. Anyone else? Would you apply all of them or just some of them? Some of them, I think, because, because let it go is, I don't think it's a good idea, but for me. Okay. For me. All right. So remember, these are tips, okay, that they can apply if they want to be successful. Now, let's see if you paid attention to the reading and let's answer the questions. Why are scheduling time? Uh, time limits and deadlines important for or to the retailers. Uh -huh. Punctuality is so important for clients and for every businesses. Mm. And what was the name of the tip that was talking about deadlines? Priorities. Priority is a is the key. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. Priority psyche. <laughs> ah, oops, sorry. Yeah, prioritizing. prioritizing. Nice. Okay, number two. Why do sales become strong when retailers invest in training employees? Because the, the employees have to be right for for in front of for uh, how do you say for enfrentar face to okay. face to face the troubles what the, what every day have to the business okay and what is the name of the tip training staff is better all right do you agree everyone Yes. Yes, Good agree. Job. And remember, in the end, the company invests time and dollars. But what will be happening? They will reap. They will harvest the result. Okay. At the end, they will win because if the employee, if they do the job correctly for them, it's gonna be earning profit. Now, what is a good way to get to know the competition? We have to know the offer and demand for our business. We have to, we have to know what the competition are offering to the clients to improve that in our business. All right. And what was the name of the tip? Uh-huh. Not remember, but number <laughs> four, maybe. <laughs> number four. Okay, I guys. Don't remember. <laughs> what was it? Knowing knowing the competition is a priority. Or <laughs> priority. <laughs> I don't know. Priority, priority. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> something kind of similar. But yeah, priority. Yeah, it's priority. Okay, nice. And the last one, how do retailers become able to effectively buy inventory for their stores? When retailer change their inventory in face the, the top of the market, they are successful. Okay. And what is the name of that tip? Shifting a store or something else. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> the last one. <laughs> the last one. I just like, imagine I wish we could have a, an exam, you know, like not virtual. Imagine that you are in the classroom and you oh are God. writing <laughs> the last one or uh, shifting something yeah. like that. <laughs> we are no good memory. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, right. Shifting yeah. store inventory is... Okay. Now, good job with the reading comprehension. I like that. I could see uh, some people participating. Not everybody did. So guys, mm, be careful. 
participation is important, especially if you really want to learn. If you just want to pass the level, okay, don't participate. But I know that you are not here just to pass the level. You are tired, I know. You could be sleeping, I know. But I'm sure that if you are here, it's because you want to learn. So if you want to learn, let's participate. If you feel tired, again, a cup of coffee before the class, that's the secret, okay? Now, let's move on. We are going to talk about outsourcing. I know that some of you said that you don't know what is that. No worries, we are going to learn it right now. Now, what is outsourcing? You can go to the dictionary right now, go to Google and try to understand the definition. Okay, go ahead. It's interesting because I know what it is, but I know how to explain it. <laughs> it okay. It's, you, it's, it's like when... people's company. It's people's company is outsourcing to hire uh, people to do some work in another company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's when you need to third part in, in, in your company, third part maybe in manufacturing. Some some manufacturer uh, have outsourcing for for their product. For example, they they the the process is the product and the outsourcing is packaging. For for example, the the product is when you need a third part. Uh, a third party. Process, mm -hmm. A third party in your process. Okay. I, I've seen that, but. Um, Did Sure. <laughs> it's sure. something like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Google said, Google says, uh, outsourcing is when a company obtain goods of service from outside or foreign supplier. All right. In simple words, let me put it in this way. This is a company. Okay. So the company, if the company hires their own employees, okay, imagine that this is you, you are the employee, the customer hire you and they say, okay, I'm going to pay you um, $100 per hour, okay? And you say, wow, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Yes, so the company think, hey, this is a lot of money. I mean, it's very expensive. So I have an idea. I'm going to pay to an outsourcing company. And they say, you know what? I need 50 employees but I don't want to pay them $100 per hour. So the outsourcing company says, no problem. I will go to another country. For example, I will go to El Salvador, okay? And I will hire 50 people and I will tell them, you know what? I'm going to pay you um, $25 per hour. Is that a lot of money in our country? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Not it. Okay, $25 per hour. Yes, in our country. Yes, yes in our country is, our a, lot. Country is a lot. Perfect. <laughs> yes, but what happens here? The company, ¿cuánto dinero se está ahorrando la company? Look, de 100 dólares a 25. So, viene la company y le dice al outsourcing, ok, yo te voy a pagar 50 dólares per employee. Ok, so, 50 dólares por cada employee. All right. So, what happens here? ¿Cuánto está ganando el outsourcing? 25. El outsourcing está ganando. 100%. Look, digamos que el, el outsourcing está pagando 25 per hour. Y 
la company le está dando el doble. So basically, el outsourcing is earning the health. But how much money it's earning <coughs> the company, right? So that is the outsourcing. They pay for an extra company in order to hire no, no. employees. So, uh, Rosalina, do you have a question? Yes, miss. Is uh, uh, for example the call center is outsourcing? Definitely. Ah, uh, okay. It is, and that is what like one of the most common outsourcings. If you see the companies from call center are from El Salvador or mm -hmm. they are from another country. No, from El Salvador. Mm, the company, no, the outsourcing. Also. Mm -hmm. In this from case, they are from another country. For That's example, imagine the clients, if you talk, for example, um, what, Hilton's Hotel. They are not from El Salvador. Yeah. The outsourcing is mm -hmm. teleperformance, for example, mm -hmm. or Sykes. They are the outsourcing. They hire people. They pay, I mean, kind of good. But even though it's not what the owners mm -hmm. <laughs> should mm -hmm. pay if the employees were from the United States. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Sure. So, uh -huh. sure. Okay. The, well, Oscar, go ahead. And then Mirna. And the country is the outsourcing with the uh, company. For example, a uh, uh, Siman uh, company mm -hmm. uh, outsourcing for the Hariva. The Hariva provide uh, employees a uh, uh, Siman. That's um, another they, example. Uh, how, uh, and then the uh, Café Rico, uh, mm -hmm. different company, uh, Coca Cola, then. Yeah? Yes. Actually, guys, this outsourcing company is growing. In our country, yeah. most of the company is using this. Why? Because the owner are saving money. All right? So it's actually it's very common. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not, uh -huh. the, the actual, uh, yeah. Imagine the a clear example of this is, for example, what happens with Taka. Do you remember Taka? The airline? Yes, yes it is. Now so, it's a... Now a, it's Avianca, a Bianca, right? Yes. And what happens with Avianca? Avianca is hiring, outsourcing. The employees hire under the name Taka, they earn more than the employees that Avianca hire through the outsourcing company. So imagine, I mean, it has their advantages and disadvantages. Uh, I don't know, I saw someone lift their the hands. Do you have a question? Yes, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, what, what do you want to say? Is uh, an outsourcing is a contractor, is right? It's basically when a company pays to another company to uh, hire some employees in order to reduce costs. It's to hire. Hire, like contratar? Uh, yeah, but the uh, authority is to hire. I'm it's sorry, is? Yes, to exactly. Mm-hmm. Is it clear the meaning of outsourcing, everyone? Yes, yes, yes. great. Yes, but it's just in service. Is it's most it's most common in service, but maquila is outsourcing. It is. It's, yes. Oh, yeah. Because they 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 uh, they manufacture in many textile or fabric and then they go to the United States and the United States put the level and mm -hmm. send in another price, maybe exactly. Imagine here in our country in the factories they have people and they just have the the t-shirt. 
they sell or they send the teachers to United States. And the only things that they do is to paste the brand. And that's it. And now they can sell the t-shirt very expensive, right? So yeah. imagine it's a little bit unfair for us, but even though for us in our country, outsourcing is helping us. In the United States, people wouldn't work with the salary that we have, but for us, that salary help us. Okay, in another country, $25 per hour is like, no way. But for us, it will be like, yeah, definitely. Okay, now, what kind of services do companies outsource? Well, you already gave some scenarios like in the factories, Las Maquilas, right? Or customer service. When we are talking about those type of services, those are the companies that they outsource. Now, the next question, volunteer for reading, please. Which regions, volunteer? Which regions of the world are well known for providing outsourcing service for companies in the West? All right. Which countries do you think are famous? India. India, yes. China. 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 China and El Salvador. We are. <laughs> we are. Yeah. We are the ones. Yes. No, Mano honestly. Barata. Exactly. Mexico? That's the point, right? Mm -hmm. Mexico. Actually, many Latin countries. They are, right? So, why? Because it's cheaper. So, just imagine if a people from United States they don't want to work in call centers, right? And the companies, do you think that the companies pay the same for an employee in the United States than for an employee in here in El Salvador? No, oh, never. never. Never, of course, never, right? So that's why for those type of company, this is a great business, right? They hire a lot of people and they have to pay less. So that's the meaning of outsourcing. Now, let's see these phrases. I want you to work in teams and I want you to complete these phrases using the words or the adjectives that you prefer. So for example, outsourcing is completed with your own words. What can we say here? For example, outsourcing is, how would you complete the phrase? Uh-huh. Uh, third party company. Very good. A third party company. Any other idea? Outsourcing is? What do you think? That service that you can provide another company yeah sounds good now number two outsourcing can never what do you think how could you complete that phrase uh-huh tell me something that outsourcing can never do or can never complete can never reach outsourcing can never Put the label, the name of the the they pros. Okay, like have their mm -hmm. own brands. Own brands. Uh, own brands. Yeah, because remember, they are just a third party company. They are not the owners. Okay, what else? Outsourcing can never. We never can pay the real salary. <laughs> okay, I, I like that. Okay. Mm. Pay the real salaries. Definitely. Because if they do that, I mean, <laughs> they lost business. It's so that's business. <laughs> exactly. They will go bankruptcy. So that's what I want you to do. Read the phrases and think about your own ideas. Complete the phrases. That's what I need.
And then we are going to present it here in the class and you have to tell me why you say that. Got it? Yes? Got it. Okay, yes. I'm going to send the phrases here on WhatsApp's group and in Teams, you will complete them. Remember, don't complicate too much. Just write the phrases that comes to your mind. Understood? Yes? Yep. Yes. Perfect. Okay, let me send it on WhatsApp's groups. Give me a second. And remember everyone, I want you to enter to the breaking rooms. Not everybody do it, please. What happens? I want you to participate. We are going to be in teams of four. All right, one second. Let's see, let's see, one moment. Okay, very good. Here we are. Let's go, everybody, and work on it. Who is in this team? Oh, no, but oh. maybe I'm alone. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch it to another team. No worries. Give me a second. Okay. I can see that you have two users. Do you have two users? No? What is that? I don't know. Es que me parece que está en otro equipo. <laughs> okay, but I'm give me a second. Sorry, sorry. For the screenshot, I have on my phone. Ah, my okay. phone for screenshot, so sorry. No worries. Okay, I'm going to move you to another team. No worries. Let's go. I think that we should, we should write it because teacher said that we need to present um, uh -huh, the answer and then explain why we, we decide to, to write that. Hmm. All of them. Yeah, because I think the, it's the, all of them. <laughs> the first, the, the, the first and the second uh, have a answer. But okay, outsourcing yeah, is okay. Okay. Hi, Joman. Oh. Hello, Scar. Hi. Hey, hello, guy. Oscar and Holman. Hello. Okay, we... there are four people in this team. Mm -hmm. If you want to be like more effective, you can divide the job. You can do one and one. So for example, uh, Adriana can do the first one, Hector the second one, Holman the third one, Oscar the number four, and then together think about the number five and six. It's just an idea, but you decide, okay? Okay, okay, good idea. For company, for hire a personal. Yes. When you contract, when you hiring a personal and and another company. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. When you hire. But I know I'm not sure what can I do for Ryan here. Also, is outsourced service, servicio tercerizado. Outsourcing service. Outsourcing service, yes, is when you're hiring a personal. Sorry, I can hear you, Fatima. Hi, <laughs> Fatima, are you there? You can hear me, Herman. Yes, I do. Oh, Fatima. Maybe it's your is your phone or I can hear you. Network bug for her. Fatima, you can write in the chat. Yeah, Maybe I think write. Fatima is having issues with the internet connection. 
So Fatima, if you can listen to us, you can write the answers in the chat. So yeah, I think that she has some issues. So try to continue guys, you too. Okay, okay. okay. The next one is absourcing can never. <laughs> Can never, <laughs> absourcing can never, can never uh, can, uh, in, my, in my opinion, I'd say that absourcing can never uh, use the, the, the own, the own brand. Own yes, brand. Never use, use the, Yes, the 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 brand that or the proper mark. Yeah, yeah, the own brand because they have a contractor or they have a clausul a clausul clausuls or confidential inf, in, in confidential information about the the that they can they the that they produce. Okay. They never use the, the the own brand because they have a a clausul in your contract when they fear. Let me check in. Okay, outsourcing. How to explain? If um, I don't know, Rosalina, an idea how to explain it? Yeah. It's but like, uh, <clears throat> don't worry, you can you can continue with the sentence. Maybe I I get idea after that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Outsourcing. The second one says outsourcing can never. I think uh, actually it... outsourcing never take the decision about who mm -hmm. uh, who we who they can hire. The last, yeah, the, the final because, decision take the main company. Uh -huh, because it's the, I think uh, outsourcing is like a service, you no, know, for improve your, your business. Maybe for save the yes. money, because you pay. I I have a confused because I I I think outsourcing also is the security in in the company, for example. But the company pay more than the outsourcing for the people. I don't know. You don't understand me. What is the, to the topic? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I got it. Okay. Mm. And, and then I yeah, think... because outsourcing is, is different. There are different uh, uh, different ways. Could be just for cleaning, huh? man, uh -huh. maintenance, okay, maintenance. You got it. maintenance. Yeah. But not improve the profit right. with the company or improve the innovation and something. Never. Yeah. Only. only just just hire yeah yes just yes. just to be the bridge to hire someone uh-huh i don't what know why uh -huh. yeah yeah it is okay nelson what do you think about it nelson nelson are you there yes i'm here okay <laughs> i don't know Rosalina. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry. No worry about it. No, no, no. Maybe you know, but the problem uh, with Erica is um, looking the word for explain for explain the idea. That is the problem. <laughs> don't complicate too much, guys, because yeah. we don't have a lot of time. Keep okay. it simple. No. Okay. Okay. The okay. biggest okay. problem okay. with outsourcing is. N never, for me, never improve the profit in the company. You mean improve what? Sorry, profit, uh, benefit. So, uh, uh, in another words, no. Only make a service. It's a, uh, but not it's a. Uh, improve your benefit in the company. Okay, oh, yeah. write that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can write that. Okay. okay. Okay, miss. And don't forget to write information because you will present it, okay? Really? <laughs> yes, of Are course. You you? I, I told. I'm so tired today, <laughs> miss. Believe me. Okay. 
do it. Because I mean, if you don't pass today, for tomorrow you won't remember. Okay. Okay. I mean, yeah. you can it's write it. <laughs> it's for tomorrow, Miss Lini. <laughs> please, please. Okay, please. but write it in your notebook yes, at least. I promise. I promise. Okay, I expect yeah. also, that. Also, Erica and also yes, Nelson. Too. Yes, uh -huh. I am. Okay, okay. I'm a hundred percent about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me, me too. I'm not pretty sure that you will, <laughs> but I will have faith. Okay, do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, number three, the biggest problem with outsourcing is, oh my goodness, the biggest, not the big, the biggest problem. Adequately, adequately, that is the, the word. The word. Google. Uh, adequately. Okay. Adequately. Adequately. The outsourcing is important. Uh, outsourcing non-core activities can improve efficiency and productivity because another entity performs these smaller tasks better than the firm itself can improve perhaps the, the people to 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 have have work uh, create a lot of opportunities of of work i think mm -hmm. okay number five outsourcing is dangerous if if you don't have enough control, maybe. Go ahead, sir. Maybe if you don't have enough control, or maybe if your business is really big, mm -hmm. outsourcing sometimes doesn't work. Sometimes if you use it for accounting process or for administration uh, things, because if you, it's outsourcing, you don't have it in your, in your enterprise. And your business so it's, it's dangerous if you don't have enough control of that because if your business is really big mm -hmm. i think it's dangerous if the country don't have a strong law law laws okay. for protect all the all the work work and uh, work no protect all the um the people <laughs> all the people okay. who who work in this uh -huh, like like uh, maquila, uh, yeah. the maquila in some case no a lot case or oh, a lot I can countable <laughs> a lot <laughs> a lot, a lot uh, case uh, the the girls or oh, ladies um higher uh, higher no the feeling is is a uh, higher higher fire the higher, opposite fire. Uh -huh, higher, higher without okay. all, all benefit oh. and and they uh turn very poor people i think yes yes you have you have reason mm -hmm. number five six outsourcing is important for make money <laughs> it's important for save money <laughs> <laughs> no uh, like like uh, holman said uh, it's important for for uh, focus focus the the company for for oh, make yeah. or for for of uh, yeah. make a good good service or product. Mm -hmm. and, and you are also, high. I don't know how to say the idea. I have in my mind, but my tongue no no help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it the story of our lives? Don't worry. <laughs> we had the idea, but <laughs> yes, keep it simple, guys. I mean, you have the good ideas, and I like it, but just keep it simple. First, don't say sentences. First of all, give one word, mm. and then create the sentence based on that word. 
Very tired. So what is the number you are working on right now? Number six. Outsourcing uh, is important. Okay, give me one word. The first that comes to your mind. Focus. Focus. Okay, is important because we can focus on what? Employees, uh, money, uh, companies, brands, what? Saving economy, money. Economy. Reduce. Good, so outsourcing is important because we focused on the economy. The economy de quien? Um, Enterprise. Uh, <laughs> so? Uh, like a uh, 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 country, uh, for example, uh, Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. Bangladesh, uh, uh, I create the... <coughs> A lot of, a lot of, uh, and a lot of jobs. Yeah. That's yeah. what do you mean? Uh, like yeah. create uh, uh, do the 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 jeans, like brands like Zara, mm -hmm. uh, and the 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 Bangladesh um uh, work. Is, is very, very important in different, in different brands. It's not only negative, right? I mean, if you see, yeah, we can say, I have sourcing is so bad. But as Holman says, they provide jobs in different countries. Without outsourcing, we didn't have factories here, the maquilas, call centers. I mean, if outsourcing disappear here in the country, thousands of people wouldn't have a job. So if you see, it's not so yeah. negative. So you can create a sentence based on the ideas that you already have. Just keep it simple. And don't forget to write it down because you will present it to the class, all right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Teacher, we are ah, IT engineer. Yes, engineer. Oh, nice. You finish? Teacher, we finish. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> we are gossip. <laughs> we are like gossip. always. <laughs> <laughs> always no. Okay. We are Fatima. talking about that. Our our oh, jobs. Okay. Oh, Fatima, could you connect? Yes. Great. I'm happy to see that. But Mirna don't hear, don't. Yes, now, yes. Yes, now, yes. Now we can hear you. Ah, yeah. ha, ha. okay. I hope you will say Mirna doesn't want to share the answers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. All right. We have the answer. <laughs> I like that. Very good. So what can you tell me, guys? Let's see. Outsourcing is important. Outsourcing is important. Uh huh. <laughs> could you could you see the the? You can see the presentation. No. Yes, but I cannot read it because I'm kind of blind. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ah yeah, now okay. I can read it. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, outsourcing, oh my God, outsourcing is important. We think that e yes, but it depends the context, but they, because they generate employment and move the economy. Is it important that outsourcing for us? That's a good point. I like that. And you see, actually it's not only negative, right? Outsourcing is not so bad at all it has their <laughs> positive aspect okay we didn't have more time let's go back to the main room okay 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 very good yeah. thank you okay time's up time's up time's up all right everyone let's go back to the main room could you complete the exercise Yes. Everybody, could you complete the exercise? Yes. Yes. All the teams? Yes, we yes. do. 
Uh -huh. All right. So listen, we don't have more time, unfortunately. So we are going to present the information tomorrow. So I hope all of the teams, right, wrote the answers because tomorrow I will ask you and I will ask you randomly, okay? So everybody, I hope you wrote the answers. Now, because we don't have more time, I just have a winner for tonight. And the winner is Fatima. Okay, so guys, do you have any questions Here. before leaving? Can you change me? I'm sorry? For tomorrow. Why, what happened? <laughs> Please teacher. <laughs> I have I have I don't have a good internet connection. All right. Okay. So in that case, I have another winner, but just because of your connection, okay? Yes. All right. So in that case, Herman, please you stay. Do you have any questions, guys, before leaving? No. No, teacher, thank you. Okay, no, be yet. ready. <laughs> not yet tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. <laughs> be ready to present the information tomorrow and don't forget, guys, to continue working on the platform. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for being in the class. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, good night. Good night. See you. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Only, Bye. only Herman stays, please. Goodbye, guys. Good. Take care. Good night, good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Okay, hello, Herman. How are you? I'm fine. All right, the purpose for this little meeting is just to answer some questions or doubts, comments that you may have. So this is like a little bit just for you, okay? I know that during the class, sometimes we don't have enough time to answer, so any questions that you may have could be about the class about the platform or about the program so what do you think um i think is is good uh, the platform and the class i don't have problems with the internet and uh, my computer is okay and i i have not I have not um, tenido had. Problem. I haven't. I haven't had problems. I haven't had problems. Okay, that's yeah. great. Excellent. So uh, I like the way that you are participating. I know that. I mean, you weren't together with this team in the previous course. But even though I feel that you fix with them, you are participating, and that's great. That's something that I like. Como que se yes. está integrando bastante bien al grupo, así que eso me gusta. I like that. That's, that meeting is 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 the better. You think? Yes, because uh, we are not very nervous. <laughs> yeah, I know. Do you feel relaxed during the class? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's the idea. I don't want you to feel nervous. I want you to feel the confidence to participate. If you have a question, do it. No problem. I can explain many times. I mean, I'm very patient, so I can explain. Don't make, um, well, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Here in the class, we can do it because here in the class, that's the purpose. Make mistakes so we can correct them. All right. So don't be afraid yeah. about it. I can see your progress on the platform. Uh, let me share it with you. Can you see what I'm sharing? Yes. So look, this is your progress. I can see 88% in the unit number one. Very good. And actually, I see that you already started the unit number two. Perfect. I like that. You are working on it. So if you have a question about the platform, you can take a screenshot and send it on WhatsApp's group. So I can help you with that. Or if your classmate already did the exercise, they can also help you it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Any other questions that you may have? No, I don't have a question. Or any comment? 
No, really. How about the topics? Is there any topic, the ones that we studied during this week, is there any topic that you felt it was a little bit difficult? Uh, difficult? Mm, no, not too much, but we are, uh, we need a practice. Yeah. Definitely, especially the vocabulary. Remember that the purpose for the intermediate level is that is learn vocabulary. The more vocabulary that you know, the most that you will be able to talk. So that's the purpose for the intermediate level. All right. So okay. let's memorize vocabulary. Let's memorize phrases. Every new word that you learned, write it down because we need to review it and memorize it. Oh, okay. I have a question. And mm -hmm. uh, it's cool if I download app called Duolingo. Look, I I say yes. I mean, every app that can help you to practice, that can help you to uh, think in English. Absolutely, I don't have any problem with that. The only things that I don't agree is to use Google Translator. Okay? okay, that's one I don't recommend it because remember that Google Translator is like a robotic machine and it's not going to give you an answer according to the context that maybe you need. So that's the only ones that I don't agree. But the rest of the apps, I mean, if it is going to help you, do it. No problem at all. Okay. okay? Nice. Uh, I don't know if you have any other question or comment. No. No? Okay. So, Herman, you are doing great. Continue participating. Continue connecting to the class. I can see that you have been very responsible. So, I like that. Keep going. Okay, and if you have any question, don't doubt, just tell me and I will help you with that. All right. Thank you so much. Excellent. Okay, this is all for today. Thank you so much for staying. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you. Bye. Bye.